This is an edited version of a detailed walkthrough of the Engage software application. Engage was created by me over the past 25 years to investigate various aspects of a missile engagement, particularly the design and effectiveness of adaptive and cognitive countermeasures. Um, Engage produced all the results that have been shown in all previous missile defense videos on this channel, and it is owned outright by Sky Industries. The walkthrough in this video took place several years ago, and any comments or questions from the customer have been removed. And go. Okay, good morning everyone, happy to be here. Uh, so we're going to talk about a walkthrough of Engage. The main parts of Engage is a missile model, a platform model, which is like target model, skin echo, and the environment model. And I think in any engagement, that pretty much captures everything. Where the, where the uh, well, there's a jammer model that should should be on there as well. And we would we might put that with the platform, let's say. Uh, and what's it used for? Well. It's built for all these things, and I use it for some of them, but not all of them, like countermeasure development, what if trials preparation, like instead of going down there, we could get maybe some idea of what might work ahead of time, what pull rates for RGPO or RGPI, power levels relative to skin out that are liable to work. You know, take a kind of an Apollo approach where in the Apollo program they used, they had to plan for every possible contingency. And when they got down there, you know, in, in actual operations, they looked at what was happening, they just pulled out the plan that applied. So instead of making a plan on the fly, because that's the last thing you want to do. So what if prep also afterwards, although the customer never seems to have any interest in it, what actually happened? That's the real goal, that's the whole point of doing a trial. If there is an appetite for what happened post-trials, then this is a way to get at it, because you can represent the trial instead of just a missile engagement. Also, phenomenological investigation. I've lost track of the number of things I've learned about missile engagements and propagation and missile design and jammer countermeasures and jammer properties and how they interact by looking at this thing. And then we go and do trials, and it turns out, oh yeah, it's exactly what we what was predicted over and over and over again. But the main design theme to me is self-verification. The, the, the biggest lesson I heard learned in developing this software over the last 21 years is you how the hell do you tell what it's doing? You click a go button, stuff happens, but is it right? You'll always get an answer, but is it the right answer? And that's the trick. So I like visual things. So the theme here is to try to provide enough visual, as much visual information as possible to show you, yep, that thing is doing what you thought it, what you set it up to do. So that's a, the theme running the whole thing. And then also teaching, which I'm like teaching myself actually. So I think that's all I want to say about that. 